Now, if Asia was, were an apartment complex, China would be that one neighbor who doesn't get along with anyone, the one with a reputation for misbehavior, the one known to cause tension and discord, the one who does not respect boundaries. Our viewers in India know this. China remains hostile at the border with India. Recently, military leaders from both sides met. They vowed to, quote, unquote, maintain peace. But the PLA made no commitment to disengage, so the pledge is just hollow words. China's belligerence is on display in Southeast Asia, too. They're threatening their neighbors. Tonight, we'll tell you about their latest move. China is building an airstrip on a disputed island, an island claimed by both Vietnam and Taiwan. We have satellite pictures of the facility. It is clearly meant for military use. This is what it looks like. It is located on an island called Triton. This is in the South China Sea. Triton is part of the Paracel group of islands. It is very close to Taiwan and Vietnam. They stake a claim over it. But since the 1970s, China has controlled Triton. And now they're militarizing it. The construction began just a few weeks back. Earlier, there was no activity on Triton. Look at this picture. Most of the island looks uninhabited. Now look at the picture from August 2023, this month. Can you stop, spot the difference? There is a long runway and some structures have also come up. Let's look a bit more closely. The runway is the most prominent structure. It is 600 meters or 2,000 feet long. That's large enough to accommodate some aircraft and drones. But that's not large enough for fighter jets or bombers. What else is on the island? A radar dome, a helipad, a cement plant, and a dock. Construction activity picked up recently. You can see containers and construction equipment in these pictures, but these are still early days. China had built some harbors and a helipad earlier. What they're doing now is basically expanding the infrastructure. And by the time they're done, this island will become a new security nightmare, especially for China's neighbors. Beijing refuses to share any details about what it's doing. They have a standard response. This expansion is for navigation safety. But it's hard to buy the argument. Do you need military-grade facilities for navigation safety? Make no mistake, this is about the South China Sea. The Triton Island is part of the same dispute. China claims ownership of this island. In fact, it claims ownership of almost all of South China Sea. But five other players have competing claims. Vietnam, the Philippines, Taiwan, Malaysia, and Brunei, they too stake claims, sometimes on the same piece of land in the South China Sea. For instance, the Triton Island. China maintains de facto control of Triton, but Vietnam says the island belongs to them. And Taiwan says the same. And here's something else you should know. Triton is one of the major islands in the South China Sea. It was in the news before. In 2018, the U.S. sent a naval ship here. It conducted what it called a freedom of navigation operation. Basically, the American ship sailed close to the island, and the Americans regularly conduct such missions. It's their way of reminding Beijing that this is a disputed region and that China has no right to dictate the rules. So Washington basically backs China's neighbors in this dispute. It's a complex issue, also a major flashpoint in the region. And with its proactive actions, provocative actions rather, China is fanning the flames. Since last month, tensions have been high. Beijing has been pushing the limits. It began with this statement. China's sovereignty and rights in the South China Sea have been formed through long-term historical practice with sufficient historical and legal basis and are not affected by legal arbitration under any circumstances. What was that about? A 2016 arbitration ruling, a ruling that declared that China's claims on the South China Sea were baseless. Of course, Beijing never accepted the ruling. In July, it said the U.S. and its allies are engaging in pressure tactics. They're forcing China to accept the ruling. In the same month, China threatened the Philippines. You may remember this too. That's a Chinese Coast Guard ship. It fired a water cannon on a Philippine vessel. China said... This was supposed to be a warning. It warned the Philippines to stay away from the waters, but Manila did not budge. It refused to end its patrols. It is our prayer that uh, uh, there will be no more water cannon incident. There will be more, no more, um, uh, less aggressive uh, reception, uh, to receive a less aggressive reception uh, from the other side. 
especially uh, because of uh, you know, uh, the international attention that uh, this incident uh, generated. In response, China is doubling down on its claims that it is militarizing more islands and threatening other neighbors. These actions will only raise tensions.